Aloha Bangladeshers, it's another Sunday and I'm back with another video for all of you and this time it's a little different what I'm doing. It's not a video where I'm going to rave about a product or tell you how favorite it is of mine but I'm going to tell you about how much I am disappointed in that particular product. Most of these products are something that I had looked forward to quite a lot to owning them and when I did use them, they didn't really cut it for me and I was really, really disappointed. So let's begin with the Tresemme Renewal Hair and Scalp Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, now I had heard quite a lot about Tresemme shampoos and conditioners um, and I was really looking forward to uh, using them myself. Um, I had used them like three years ago and had had the same problem then as I had now and that was a lot of hair fall. I have had some hair fall throughout my life but Tresemme shampoos just don't seem to like my hair and the hair fall just becomes many fold uh, when I start using them. However, I'm going to give this another try and I'm going to use the Platinum Strength uh, shampoo and conditioner this time and just hope that they work. I'm really desperate for Tresemme to suit me. Um, but anyway, the only reason that I had bought these two was because these were supposed to nourish the scalp and I had, I have really dry scalp, so I thought, you know, some nourishing would do it some good, but then apparently not, uh, didn't really work for me. So I'll just wait for these to run out and then I'm going to get the platinum strength one and see how that suits my hair. Now I'm probably going to face a lot of flack for getting this product into my disappointing list and it's the Chanel number no. five perfume. I know it is a very cult product and it is everywhere, people only rave about it. I have never heard anyone talking um, ill of it, but I personally love the scent quite a lot and I was really looking forward to using it and owning it myself. And when I did, it was just sad that it didn't suit me because as soon as I put it on, it kind of makes me very nauseous. Uh, the scent is a little bit too strong for me, I guess, and especially if I'm in a car or something and I'm wearing this perfume, I get very sickly and I have that motion sickness feeling and then it takes me an hour to recover from that and I just can't enjoy the party or the dinner or wherever I'm going to uh, all that much at least for the first one hour that I'm there so but I am going to try and use it as much as possible it was an expensive perfume after all so and I don't like wasting things at all so but then this is the only amount that I have managed to use in the past I think it's been over a year since I've used uh, since I've owned it now and that's all I've managed to use my next disappointing product is the simple sensitive skin experts kind to eyes eye makeup remover um, now this is a brand that is very popular in UK and I had heard very good things about this particular uh, brand and that is the reason I kind of wanted to get it for myself and it says here it removes waterproof mascara and oh my god unless and until I have to pull on my eyelashes losing at least three or four of them this doesn't work for me at all and especially because I use the Benefit They Are Real mascara it is quite a heavy duty mascara this doesn't really work with that at all uh, I used to use the Sephora oil based one the one uh, that's blue, half blue and half transparent and then you have to shake it before using it. That used to work wonders for even something like the Benefit The Ariel Mascara but then this refuses to budge my makeup even a little bit, uh, especially the mascara. Uh, even the very lighter things like eyeshadow, blush, I have to kind of go over at least two coats over them uh, before I can at least you know say that I've gotten rid of my makeup at all. So yeah, I didn't really like this. Next on my list is the NARS eyeshadow in the color, in the color Mekong. And if you look at it in the pan, it's a beautiful shimmery copper color, uh, really dark. And I love smoky eyes, so I immediately fell in love with it. And I kind of did a few trials on my hand and you know, I was happy with it. And I bought it. In fact, it was one of the products that my husband gifted me for my birthday last year he gifted me a ton of makeup and this was one of them so i'm really heartbroken that it didn't work out um, because as shimmery as it seems in the package none of that comes onto the eye at all i don't know why that is it's so shimmery and then 
when you apply it nothing comes on nothing at all so and i bought this color only because of the shimmer in it otherwise i had very similar color in my urban decay naked one palette that would have worked for me anyway but then this was bought plainly for the shimmer and the shimmer doesn't come on to the skin at all so i have not used this product for over two or three uh, times now and yeah it's pretty much new and i don't quite use it at all next on my list is the maybelline new york eye studio lasting drama gel eyeliner uh, this is the basic black color i just found the l'oreal one to be much better than this in terms of packaging in terms of the quality of the product uh, in terms of the brush that comes along with it uh, to apply the gel eyeliner this one i found to dry up really quickly and even the application isn't wasn't all that smooth if you use it on a standalone basis you won't even come to know the difference but once you use the l'oreal one you would know that there is a bit of a difference between this and that one i just found that one to you know glide on more smoothly onto the eyes um, even the brush is better so probably that helps the application so but i don't know maybe it works the other way around for you but um yeah this one didn't cut it for me next product that was very disappointing for me is this l'oreal lipstick and it's in the color beige sienna if you look at it it's a beautiful brownie um, pink color and i was on a lookout for a nude color for a long time and when i tried this on it seemed really great in all those bright lights in the store uh, but when i kind of started using it it didn't really look all that good on me uh, it kind of washed me out altogether it um, it is a very natural looking shade and i just hope it had worked on me also the third time i used it the entire stick broke off like from the base i don't know how that happened because i don't really um, you know take out the entire stick and apply i mean who does that so i just take out a little bit from the stick and apply it but i don't know how the entire stick just came off I hope it doesn't fall off now. Yeah, so that's why it's like this messy-looking, grubby lipstick right now. Now the final product that didn't quite make it to my favorites list is this Mac lipstick uh, from their Sheen Supreme range, and it's called uh, I think it's called yeah, it's called Behave Yourself. How amazing is that name? And when I tried it out uh, in the Mac counter, it really came out as a beautiful pink color on my lips, but now. when i use it it's such a bad color oh my god it washes my lips out completely it looks so bad i can't even begin to explain i just cannot use it like i said i hate wasting products and i cannot wear this because my lips practically become invisible when i apply this so i don't know what i was thinking when i bought it but anyways i'm saving the stick because you know if you take six containers um, back to mac you get one free lipstick from their regular collection So that is the only reason I'm holding on to this particular container and which is actually crowding my makeup bag now. So those are all the products that didn't quite impress me. If you know alternatives to any of those, do leave them in the comment section below. I would love to know about that. The thing at Brandish is that we don't like to recommend products to you guys blindly. Uh we will call a spade a spade. Um uh, so rest assured about our opinions. We don't uh take payments from brands or endorse any brand in particular. uh even if we do at some point in time we will let you know about that clearly so you need not worry that we are just another you know set of people who are trying to just shove uh the products into your faces it's not like that we are someone who really genuinely um appreciate anyone else who has honest opinions to share about anything and we just want to do the same for all of you so that we can be a little community together and help each other out uh sharing knowledge or owning the best products out there in the market so if you guys like what we are doing and you appreciate all the effort that we put in in researching all these products for you sharing all the good and bad things then do remember to give this video a big like uh, the buttons right down there and also there will be a subscribe button uh, adjacent to that you can hit that and keep abreast of all the videos that we make every sunday for all of you so meanwhile keep brandishing we'll see you very soon bye mm -hmm.